So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem till niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 Buffalo Bulls Dynasty action, and today we're going up against the Cincinnati Bearcats, all right? And it is snowing. It is snowing. Our first game where it's snowing. We're 8 and 2 on the season, all right? If we did not lose to UCF, we would be in there. But you guys see, they're 5 and 1. We're 6 and 1, but. Uh, since they hold the tiebreaker, if they win out, then they're going to win. We don't control our own destiny. We have to pray that they're going to lose. And I don't think they're going to lose. So this that's a problem. All right, but you guys see Cincinnati. I, they're not that good of a team. All right. The snow might play a factor. Who knows? I do like their stadium, though. I do like it. And I never thought about doing a dynasty. Cincinnati's always like a weird team for me. All right. In basketball, they're like inconsistent. You know, they, they used to have this dude I seen playing in high school. His name was Jermaine Sanders. He was all right. And, you know, Sean Kilpatrick, he went there. Uh, Lance Stevenson, he also went there. This guy I saw play against Hofstra in real life. His name came Broom. He transferred from Sacred Heart. Now he's going to Cincinnati. He's going to drop buckets. Like, that boy can score. He ate Hofstra alive when I seen him play. So, hopefully, good luck to him. But this is Cincinnati football, okay? And they're not that good, okay? All right. They did have this guy named Munchie Legault who used to be on the team. And also, there was a Panthers quarterback back in the day who was from Cincinnati. And I did remember Cincinnati. They did have a nice run where they went undefeated in the regular season but once they actually played their bowl game they lost and they were like ranked in the top five when they went undefeated i remember that season because i believe tcu and boise state both went undefeated as well or some something like that all right you guys can look into the archives okay because i know you guys like to do that so you guys see we went five wide and jackson williams is going to pick up the first down all right so it's now first down in 10 chris merchant passing it out to micah robinson who will get the first down on the 11-yard reception. So we're moving the ball quite nice on this drive. Micah Robinson coming in motion to the right. And we're looking right at him. Lofted up there. Micah's got it. 16-yard reception. So this time it's going to be a read option. And Tyree Jackson's not going to pick up a lot of yards right there. It's only going to be two. So it will be second in goal. This time Chris Merchant's going to hand it off to Eric Hopkins, who is only going to pick up about one yard. So it will now be third in goal. You know, the Bearcat defense is starting to show up. And Ulysses McDonald cannot get into the end zone. So it will now be fourth in goal. We will have to, we will be forced to kick a field goal. And Terrence Jones, ice water in his veins. Uh, no pun intended because, you know, uh, snow. <laughs> yeah, but uh, studio update. Oh, Western Kentucky with a big win over Tulane. And if you guys remember, Tulane was really nice last year in this dynasty. I don't know what happened to him this year. But, oh, Barber can't hold on to the ball. So it'll be third and ten for the Bearcats. All right. Chandler is going to try to pass it off to the left. And he does find his receiver. And, oh, we just got a tackle on him. I almost didn't make that tackle. But they were forced to punt it. So now we get the ball back. Chris Merchant looking for a receiver. He's going to find Hopkins to his right for the seven-yard reception, which will make it second and three. And now we're going to hand it off to Hopkins on the counter. And he picks up about five yards on that one. So now we're going to go five wide once again. And this is another play that if they're playing zone, this beats zones, okay? All right, and the receivers you really got to look for are the slot receivers, all right? You got to look for them. Now, when I say slot, I'm, I'm talking about uh, the inside receivers. You got to look for them. They're most likely going to be open, okay? Uh, don't look for your outside receivers. They're probably not going to be open. I, I don't want to mix up my terminology and say the X receiver because I'm not sure if that's the name because, uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at my diagrams, all right? All right, I, I research football. I watch a lot of football. I'm, I'm doing a... Uh, football videos for this website now when me and my friends in college we're going to be doing that uh starting this school year so if you guys are interested in that i definitely recommend you go there i'm definitely going to be making videos there and it's going to be lit and terrence jones that was a, cl a 45 plus yarder i yo freshman year terrence jones been to be able to do this and he had room to spare Terrence Jones, okay, in the snow, too. So Chandler's going to hand it off to Vince Civit. Oh, uh, Vincent, I, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know why I said Vincevic, but yeah, Vincent could not pick up the first down, so it'll now be second and 10, and they're going to throw it to Vincent, but Vincent is going to, ooh, Vincent bouncing off of tacklers, picks up the first down, but who gets clobbered out of bounds, so it'll be first down and 10, Chandler dropping back to pass, and he's going to find his receiver, but we stop him just short of the goal line, all right, we're up 6 nothing right now, but they could easily get into the end zone and score, and that is what they do as Chandler. We'll score the touchdown, making it a 6-all game. But if they get an extra point, as they did, it is now a 7-6 game. Chris Merchant dropping back to pass, looking for the 5-1-8 hook. And we do, oh no, Zazura can't hold on to it. Zazura doesn't drop passes like that. Now, you guys see, they're going zone once again. And we break, we bust that zone coverage, man. That play busts it wide open. And Jackson Williams catches another pass, this time for seven yards, to make it second and three. So now Tyree Jackson's going to hand it off to Eric Hopkins, who will. No, he does not pick up the first. He only picks up three yards, which will make it third and inches. So Tyree Jackson's going to take it himself, run to the side, and he picks up a big game. He makes a cut, and he does not get into the end zone. He was so close. So Merchant is just going to hand it off to Eric Hopkins, who gets into the end zone for the touchdown, making it a 12-7 game. And whoo, Ty Tyree Jackson almost broke that one. He almost got a touchdown off that, but hey, can't can get them all. Can't get them all. So it's now 13-7, a minute left in the second quarter. Chandler dropping back to pass. Nearly gets intercepted there, but good. Good makes the hit, and that will stop them momentarily, but the Bearcats... They're not playing around. They're not playing around. But we, we injured one of their players, so hopefully he stays out because we don't need more impact players uh, affecting our defense. So now it is first down and 10 for the Bearcats. They're going to hand it off to Barber, and Barber is going to the outside, but we stop him just short. So it will now be second and five, 33 seconds left. We do not want them to score. Chandler's going to loft it up there, and we cannot get the pick. Derek Sims on the reception. So it is now 13-13 with 29 seconds left in the second half. I mean, in the second quarter, excuse me. So we got to come up with a big play. Lee Brown back there to return, all right? He's going to get some blocks. He's got some blocks on the outside going up the sideline. He curdles one defender. Look at Lee Brown. He could go all the way. But just wait. Just wait. Clipping. Clipping on us. Unbelievable. So they don't even put time back on the clock, all right? So we only got seven seconds, 17 seconds to work with right now. Chris Merchant looking for a receiver. Is going to find Jackson Williams, who picks up a huge gain right there. So with 10 seconds left, Chris Merchant is going to try to hit, and he does find J.R. Zazara on that 518 hook play. So we got five seconds left. We call on Terrence Jones. Why not? Why not? And Terrence Jones says, come on, coach. Come on, coach. Come on, coach. I've proven myself. So we go into halftime with the lead. 16 to 14. I'm happy with that, all right? I'm happy with that. We got to play better defense, all right? Offensively, we got to play better as well. I mean, we are prolific offense. We can put up, we can score in bunches, all right? And this Cincinnati team, I know it's snowing and all, but I know we could do a lot better. And that's what I hope to do in the second half, all right? Uh, Chris Merchant is having a nice day out there. Tyree Jackson running the ball well. Uh, UMAC has been neutralized out there, but uh, hopefully we can get him involved a little more. Eric Hopkins has been doing what he's doing. Defensively, we just we just need to stop them, all right? But they, I think they might run like a no huddle. I'm not sure if they run no huddle, but I, if they do run no huddle, I can see why our defense is having trouble. And a lot of teams in this game do that. And you, Mac, taking off. I didn't know how to slide, guys. If you guys know how to slide, tell me. Well, it doesn't matter because I finished both the UNC and uh, Buffalo series already. But if you still want to tell me how to slide in this game, please tell me because uh, I need help, all right? And UMAC's going to hand it off to Eric Hopkins, who's going to pick up only three yards on that one, making it second and seven. UMAC dropping back to pass. Looking for a receiver. Finds Hawkins, Jonathan Hawkins. For the first down, so it's now going to be first and goal. UMAC still in the game, having a good drive for him. So he's going to take it himself and get into the end zone for the six-yard touchdown run. And that's good. I like that. Well, that's how we got to start the second half off, all right? So we're up 23 to 14. You see UMAC, you know, giving props to his teammates out there. And, oh, we get the fumble. Lee Brown on the recovery. 
And oh, did you see that hit, dude? That was a nasty one. So Umac, I put him back in the game because he did so well. He's gonna take the carry himself. O line, can you can you block, please? Can you block, please? So this second and one, we're gonna run a play action jet sweep right here. Umac looking for a receiver is gonna find Cam Lewis over the middle for the first down. I say keep him in the game. He's doing a good job. Why not? All right. And Umac's gonna carry it for four yards right there, making it second and six. I say keep him in the game, coach. Keep him in the game, coach. Still doing good. So looking for a receiver now. Oh, what, what, what just happened? I don't even know what happened. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe the recording got messed up. Who knows? But Umac in the game, looking for a receiver. He's gonna throw it to Kevin Rogers, and Rogers is gonna. Get the first down. So now Chris Merchant in the game is going to hand it off to, uh, I believe that's David Cummings. He doesn't get in the game a lot. Uh, he's our third string running back, but Hawkins might be injured or he might be tired. So that's why. And ooh, a dot to Kevin Rogers will get us the first down. So we're in, we're in the fourth quarter. We've had a long drive, a very, very long drive in this game. I mean, in this quarter so far. And you guys see, that's Nick Howard catching the pass. You know, he's getting more playing time since... Uh, JT Burgess is injured and he catches his second reception of the day so that's him just doing what he do and we're going to hand it off to Eric Hopkins who picks up the first down we're milking this clock because uh, we do not want the Bearcats to come back and score all right and Hopkins is going to take this one for about three yards so we've had this drive for a long time a long 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 time and that's Michael Robinson going to catch the pass for about four yards so this time we're gonna pitch it out to the right hopefully Hopkins could get in and he does I believe that is the second touchdown of the day correct me if I'm wrong we gonna see at the end of the video anyway but that puts us up by 15 Ooh, do you see I think we was about to hit the Harlem Shake okay and Nate Chan uh, excuse me Joel Chandler gonna be looking for a receiver he finds one that is Brett Walker for the 16 yard touchdown reception so they're gonna go for two so they can make it a eight point game and Chandler does find his receiver as he gets clobbered. But, hey, they still get it. So, uh, hey, we're not going down easy, though. All right, we're going to try to take out, take off as much time off this clock as possible. And Eric Hopkins has got space, and he gets into the end zone. A 30-yard touchdown run to put us up 36-22. to The Bearcats get the ball back. Joel Chandler dropping back to pass, looking for a receiver. He's going to loft it up there. And his receiver catches it. Busted coverage that we had right there. Not good at all. And they're going to get a touchdown reception as he falls into the stands. He disappeared. Where did he go? Oh, my gosh. So, Cincinnati is still in this game. All right. And Chandler's going to hand it off to Vincent. And Vincent gets into the end zone. So, it's only a seven-point game, my boys. All right. So, this is an onside kick. Very pivotal moment of this game. And Joel, and Je I almost said Joel Berry. <laughs> I'm a UNC fan. I'm sorry. Uh, Jamal Berry gets it. So uh, we're gonna, just going to run out the clock right as you guys can see. Uh, Cincinnati burns their last time out. So that will do it here in Cincinnati. We end up winning the game. 36 to, uh, no, excuse me, 37 to 28 I believe no I, I'm messing up 37 to 30 that is the score Eric Hopkins got player of the game definitely deserved it he did a hell of a job today out on that field give him props and uh we didn't throw a touchdown okay we didn't throw a touchdown Tyree Jackson got hurt that's why he wasn't playing that much but Eric Hopkins we had to hand him the ball and he did what he had to do out there on that field a lot of our wide receivers got involved like I say that's not what happens in the UNCW one because we're not really much of a passing offense in that one. So a lot of our receivers, and we spread it out on Buffalo. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe.